Hello everyone, Crystal Vigia here. Welcome back to another part of my Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Right. Now you've gone and done it. Them crystals are mine. Yes, that is indeed what you are aiming for. You're aiming for crystals. I'm aiming to kick your anus. Now, is that a blocked word? Is that a, is that a banned word? There's Penta Penguin. How you doing there? So, I'm curious about this. Can we actually do the, the... Yep, you can. Cool. That's pretty cool. Cool, we can, we can, we can basically beat Dingo Dial normally. So, no, you know what? I'm gonna... Okay, well, an excellent start. Um, okay, so that's cool. That's good to know. So, basically, uh, this is the trick to beat Dingo Dial. This is the, this is the illegitimate way of beating him. Well, I guess it's technically legitimate. It's just you're, you're cheating. So, what he normally does is I'll show you. He will throw these uh, fireballs. You got to not get hit by them. It's, uh, I mean, you know, it's not like the easiest boss, but it's not like super difficult either. I really shouldn't be at this level. I should. Okay, let me let me let me actually let me focus. All right, I think I'm thinking that yeah, probably the best way to get through is to because yeah, he he will throw them in all directions, so it's probably better to go what direction? Yeah, okay. If you can outrun him, yeah. I. You know that you know this. This is this is gonna sound hilarious, right? I have not done this boss legitimately in probably over six, seven years. I'm actually I'm not joking. Like I have never. I like so I'm actually I'm actually hilariously enough struggling with this. All right, there you go. There you go. Oh god. Yeah, seriously, I'm actually struggling with this. This 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 is dingo dog. You guys are probably thinking, what the heck? How the hell is Crystal Fisher failing at the second boss of Crash Bandicoot three? This is, I'm, this, I'm finding this, I'm finding this to be a difficult boss. Alright, let's, let's think about it. There probably is actually like a correct strategy, but yeah. Because like he goes, he goes like that way and then, alright. I guess the trick is, alright, so here's, here's it going normal. This is better because he just does it in like one angle, so it's really easy. So then he'll blow a hole through that and then you use that to continue to get through. So, that's the legit way of doing it, so because you, you skip through. There you go, so I've shown you how to do it legit now. Now I'm just gonna cheat. All right, round two. There you go. Look at this. This is uh, this is premium Let's Play content. Well, then again, you guys are subscribed to me for like fun and analysis. You're not subscribed to me for uh, gameplay ability. You you know that because if you were, if you weren't, you'd be subbed to as Indictive Tainman, the greatest video game player of all time. No, he's well, he's very good. I always bring him up. I always, I got, I always got to plug him because he always, uh, he knows, he knows what to do. He is, he is, he is who you sub to if you want to see someone play a game really quite well most of the time. Me, unless it's Spyro, very rarely am that good. Now I've unlocked the double jump, which is a very useful ability. What do we got here? This is the third warp room. Pretty fun warp room, honestly. Double header? Is it? No, it's not double header. That is Dino Might. Yeah, alright, let's do Dino Might. Why not? Dino Might's a cool level. Well, haven't we gotten far for a pair of fuzzy marsupials? I am Dr. Nefarious Trophy, master of time and the creator of the very time twister machine you see before you. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have sent me to end this little shroud. So you won't be leaving my area with the crystals. I swear it. Thank you, Entropy. Entropy. Now, Entropy is a villain that, I mean, in general, I think he was undercooked, dare I say. Uh, he was, he was a, I mean, well, depending on who you ask, medium rare. You know, now, is that undercooked? That's the debate. I mean, I yeah, medium rep is actually pretty good. This is this is some nice lighting right now. I'm liking this a lot. I can't wait to see the little crash enemies. Um, but yeah, so like that was the thing, right? Is that is that he he had like I feel like it had so much potential. Yet he was sort of he was he's the third boss. Like he's a pretty easy boss. Seriously, I'm gonna struggle less with him than I will with uh, Dingo Dal. I'm not joking. Uh, look at these guys. This is, this is what happens when crash goes wrong. Those guys there. But um. Yeah, so I don't know. I always thought there was a lot of potential uh, with with Entropy. I wish he was actually used more prominently in the post Crash Three games. I mean, I think there was a lot of potential with him that was not never really made it there, you know. And and I really do wish 
that we did actually get to see, you know, get to see more of him. Um, in Twin Sanity, he has that. I mean, he was meant to have a more a larger role in Twin Sanity, uh, I believe. Like, I mean, then again, a bunch of people were meant to have a much larger role. Oh, look, it's little Agapus Rex. Look at this little cutie. Oh, okay, gameplay-wise, not too bad at all. Oh, nice boosting jump there. Oh, okay, this is fun, my dudes. It is Wednesday, my dudes. All right, now, can we, can we attack? Okay, so that's, that's dismount, yeah, that's circle. Cool. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, one of those guys, oh, ho, ho. Yeah, oh, you think you know me? Edge, all right, okay. That's what I, now that's what I call edgy. So yeah, there's quite a bit to do in this level as well. We need to get the yellow gem path. Unfortunately, we could not uh, make it to. Now I'm just I'm trying to remember though. Is the yellow gem path where there's more boxes? Like, or can we get all the boxes? I've got a bad feeling we can't get all the boxes. Now this is this is where this is where the game truly. I know I talked about this in Crash 2 LP quite a lot, but how good does it look when like a crystal just illuminates an area? That is where you know this is. I find it objectively better than the original game in terms of that style. Um, but in terms of the, can we get anything up here? Nope. But in terms of um, other graphical ways, you know, some people prefer the original, of course, and that's fair enough. But yeah, this is pretty damn awesome. Now, what was I going to say as well? Um, oh, damn, what was I going to say? Oh, I've completely forgot. Yeah, so Agapus Rex, oh, and that's right, yes, yeah, so there's the Agapus Rex, uh, like, warp in here as well. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, look, I haven't even used the double jump yet properly. Look, there's the double jump. Does it feel the same? Let's have a look. Hmm, it feels slightly more delayed, if anything. Or maybe I'm just thinking, overthinking. Yeah. There's, there's this slight problem with inputs in this version, um, which is like really sort of weird. I noticed it in Crash 2. I don't think you guys remember me complaining about it then. There's like a slight input uh, lag that can be, or error where it like won't input properly. Hopefully, uh, it won't cause any major problems. I know that, I mean, with Relics, that's why I've avoided them with Crash 2 so far, because I thought, you know what, you guys are going to want me to get Platinum, but I don't think I can at this point. So you will notice that the lighting is different in this level than the other one. In the original, you basically could not tell at all. There was no, there was no real difference. Now, these are like the speed pads, which I think is awesome. Damn it, I nearly did the entire level without getting hit. Well, now I'm definitely, it's definitely over. Oh, shite. Shizer. Ten lives. My goodness. How far I have dropped is uh, truly astounding sometimes. Alright. Yeah, so going for the going for the double jump right here. Like, look, let's see. Yeah. It doesn't feel it just doesn't feel as natural, but I don't know if it's just me not having played Crash for like quite a long time. Shit. Ah, oh, damn it. My problem is I'm, I'm jumping slightly too late with it. Okay. I'm not getting any... Bump. Wait, I, yeah, that's right. Okay. So I don't have to worry. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to not worry for now. Because it actually counts. Problem is, if you speed up, so does the uh, the, the, the dinosaur. So it's biased. This game is uh, it's rigged. See, that one... that Ah, oh, that one I wouldn't have got, but how did that, how did that hit? I swear I did not hit that. I did not, I did not hit it. I did not. It's bullshit, it's not true. That wasn't a massive attempt at trying to sound like Tommy Wiseau, but uh, it w there was an attempt, kind of. Okay, let's go again. So I think it's because I'm rushing. So I'm Salmon Rushdie. Okay, shit. You know what I really need? I need a Zyrtec, no. I need a, uh, I need a mask. I need, I need Akawaku right now. Save us, Akuaku. Damn it, I'm running over it too early and I'm thinking I can't make the jump. Wait. Okay. And I've got a bad feeling I'm not going to get all the boxes anyway. I think I'm pretty... Unless there's a nitro thing. Have I missed, missed any nitros? Yeah. I feel like... Is it, in the, is it in the original version that you don't hit the lava as easy? Yeah, see, I feel like... Yeah, with that. Like, it feels like when... Yeah, there's like a slight delay on the jump. So it makes me feel like I'm going to miss it, like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to under jump. That's why I'm not jumping at the right time. All right, let's continue. Here we go. Okay, then I'm going to double jump. See, yeah. See, I pressed jump. I pressed jump. I, I was on the spin and it did not work. 
So that's really disappointing because I want to complete this damn level. So you see, at this point, like being, I'm just not even going to complete this game. I'm just going to be like here in like three years. Be like, welcome back to part 63. Here's my 14th attempt. It reminds me of that. Reminds me of that Mr. Fraser films 2009's famous 2010 let's play of. Uh, okay, is that going to get it? Is it going to get it? Yeah, it did. It actually did. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, yeah. So look at that. What a waste of time anyway. Um, yeah, that reminds me of Mr. Fraser Films Let's Play. He It took him 12 pass to get to the level, what was it called? Um, oh God, the alleys and gullies. Like, like, I remember him saying, like, welcome to part 12 of my Let's Play of Toy Stories. Is you know, alley, like, we're here in alleys and gullies. And I just lost it. I just started laughing because I'm like, it's taken you 12 parts. I know that back in the day, you can only do 10 minute videos, I think. But, oh my goodness, that's just brilliant. All right, let's swap hero. And in the next part, we're going to play, I reckon, hang on, yeah, high time, let's do high time. Because you know what they say, these high times are killing me. They gonna come talk to me about money laundering in West Baltimore? Shit, shit.